Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Oh, I wish it were tomorrow already. When you wake up in the morning, it will be. If I can sleep. You always sleep. True. I wish it, too. Maybe tomorrow will be cooler. It better be. I'm stifling. If we'd all be quiet, we wouldn't use up so much air talking. Enough air for talking, just not enough for breathing. Phew, Mama, how can you knit? Isn't all that wool making you warm? I'd rather keep busy. It stops me from thinking about the weather. I just can't do anything. I'm as limp as a rag. David, aren't your fingers sticking to the pages of that book? They are. What does the paper say about tomorrow? That it will come. About the temperature tomorrow? Uh, warmer. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's Saturday. It can't be warmer. What was that again? I hope it doesn't rain. It's dreadful when it rains on weekends in the summer. It spoils everybody's plans. It isn't the rain that makes it wet. It's the humidity. (sighs) Oh, I wish it were tomorrow that it wouldn't rain, that the temperature would be lower. You wish a lot of things. If it rains, I won't be able to wear my new dress. You can wear it on Sunday. Never put off till Sunday what you can do Saturday. Such a lovely dress Mama bought me. Tangerine. I look just like an orange. You look like orange juice if it doesn't get any cooler. (laughs) I look like orange juice more if it rains. (laughs) You know nothing affects the weather once it's made up its mind? Why complain about it? Oh, because complaining is all a person can do. Besides, I love having something to complain about. The weather... Is all I've got. Seriously, David, does the paper say rain tomorrow? Mm, it says rain. Good. Why? Because then it'll be a nice day. Papers never know what they're talking about. The weather predicts, and then whether it will or whether it won't, nobody knows. It's all a big farce to hoodwink the public. Hoodwink it into what? Oh, I don't know, just hoodwink it. Say, is it getting cooler to you? No. I thought I felt a little air. He's in the bedroom, sleeping. Oh, Mama, you are warm. Warm as a hot pun. Oh, David, who would like some Coca-Cola? I'd like to swim in it. I'll get you a bottle or two. People say hot showers are better in the summer because you feel cooler when you get out. It's a fraudulent superstition. Like walking under ladders? (laughs) You know, I think men suffer more in the hot weather, don't you, Mama? They suffer more loudly. If it's a nice day tomorrow, I'll take the baby for a walk. A new dress. A new baby. I like my old baby best. Oh, darling, you're melting me. What isn't already melted? (laughs) (laughs) I think I'll use the fancy carriage cover Julia sent the baby. You want to smother the child? Well, I can't take him out all exposed. Why not? He might meet somebody he knows. I think it's cooler in the kitchen. With the refrigerator door open, no doubt. Here you are. Just pour it over the top of my head, Mama. (laughs) David, why don't we close up all the windows? I think it's hotter out than in. Impossible. Mama, sit down. You make me warm standing up. Now she's blaming me. I've been waiting for that. I'm up. I'll go see what it is. I hope he won't get prickly heat. But you wouldn't mind if I did. Oh, you're too big for prickly heat. Mama, would you rub some talcum powder on him while you're at it? I'm way ahead of you. I hope this weather won't disturb the baby. Poor little thing. Poor little thing. He's been sleeping soundly all evening. I know, but it's so hot he'll lose his appetite. Mm, Good. He'll get restless and won't sleep. No, that's not so good. They're so helpless, David. Just like little dogs and kittens. You think he's conscious enough to feel hot or cold? I don't think he minds too much one way or the other. Oh. Well, he has to take his chances like the rest of us. Oh, I bet it's nice and cool up on the farm. Probably 20 below zero with a high gale from the north-northeast. Seriously, do you think there's much difference? Mm -hmm. Half a degree. When are we going back to the farm, darling? A couple of days. You miss it? Terribly. The brook, walnut tree, the flower garden. Mm, I miss it. Much more than I ever expected. Besides, it's high time our son saw his home. Maybe we can go up by the end of next week. The end? Mm-hmm. I just haven't wanted to go back too soon because I know you'll be running up and down the stairs and climbing the hill and 
one baby in the house is enough. I certainly planned things terribly. I should have had this baby in the winter so you wouldn't have had to miss any summer up on the farm. <laughs> I'll do better by you with the next one. <laughs> all right, see that you do. I wonder if the farm misses us. He's all right, just a little restless. Any prickly heat? A little. It won't hurt him. Sit down, Mama. Take the weight off your feet. It's cooler standing. Uh, let's try being quiet. Hmm? And think? Oh, thinking's much worse than talking. How would you know? Oh, brr. What's the matter? Nothing. Mama's just giving me the cold shoulder. You got another one, Mama? Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Why don't you two go to bed? You've been in your pajamas for hours. Too warm even to dream. You might dream of glaciers. Yes. Or you might dream of skiing down the slope of an alp. Snow up to your ears. Oh, mm. that's heavenly. You must be a fine skier. Mm, when I was a lad. I hate skiing. I simply loathe it. I didn't know. I never tried. Mm, it's very exciting. It is. The wind whistling by, mountains all around, snow capped. The crunch of ice under your feet? I'm afraid the ice wouldn't be just under my feet. I'm afraid it'd be under my everything else. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Oh, let's not talk about ice. It makes me too warm. I am resolved. I am not going to talk about the weather anymore. I'm just going to absorb it. Act as if it isn't here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to bed and act as if I isn't here either. I'm going to plop into bed this minute, David. Don't you want to plop too? Well, might as well. Though those mattresses are awfully hot. You're supposed to sleep on them, not under them. Don't oh, be sleep really? on the floor. Too drafty. If there were a draft. <laughs> Good night, Mama. Leave your door open if you like. We can share the air. Thanks, thanks. Maybe I'll take another shower. You've had four. You've only been home four hours. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't help. Good night, Grandma. Kiss my grandson goodnight for me. For a small fee. I think the bedroom's cooler than the living room, don't you? Oh, sure. Well, you can tell yourself that anyway. Oh, sure. Ugh. Ouch. What's the matter? This bed is sizzling. Sizzling? Mm -hmm. It's going to be like sleeping on a frying pan. Oh, dear. Well, mine isn't so bad. You want to switch? No, it's all purely metal. Oh, oh sleep. Sleep that knits up the raveled sleeve of care. Don't talk about sleeves on a night like this, David. I'll never be able to sleep. <laughs> never. Neither will I. <laughs> David, are you asleep? Oh, sure. You've been spinning like a top all night. It's only 12 o'clock. It really feels as if it had been all night. This is what I get for wishing it was summer all last winter. Oh, try and sleep, darling. I'm doing as much as I can about it. Even the baby's been restless. Oh, well, it is July. Still July? I thought it'd be August by now. <laughs> Mama, are you asleep? A shot. Maybe she is. Who wants to know? She is. <laughs> come on in and be sociable, why don't you? I don't feel sociable. Oh, then we'll come in to you. All right. I'm coming. Anything for some privacy? Personally, I think the time has come for this to stop. What has? The thermometer. Oh. The what? It has to stop going up. It'll bust. Well, why don't you speak to I it? I intend to. I don't understand why you two are taking this lying down. Who's lying down? Mentally and spiritually, the two of you are. You hear that, Mother? Ignore her, David. I don't know about you, but I'm going to do something about it. What? Well... Well, we pay our taxes, don't we? Mm -hmm. We have a right to, to, to say something about conditions. You, you are not old enough to have the right to vote, even. You are, and I am a mother now. That should give me some rights. Not <laughs> at all. Huh. That's what you think. David, hand me the phone. I will not. Hand it to me. Who are you going to call at this hour? The Weather Bureau, if you must know. I'm sorry I asked. Claudia, you, you can't call the Weather Bureau. Of course I can. All I have to do is dial weather. It's about time somebody took advantage of the, the, the facilities provided by this government for the benefit of its taxpayers. You're kidding, of course. Huh? Am I? What's the use, David? It's cooler not to resist her, Mother. Here is the phone. I am going to give them a piece of my mind. Well, don't be too generous, darling. I will ignore that. W-E-A-T-A. 
H E R. Your daughter, my dear mother, is mad. The heat has gone to her head. Well, there's plenty of room for it there. It's ringing. <laughs> I'm not one to sit by and let all the people I love roast to death. Hello, Weather Bureau. Claudia, you're not talking to anybody. It's a record they turn on and play. She knows it, Mother. She's just having a good time. It's rather touching to see her amused by so little. Ninety-two? A record for this hour on this date? I wish she hadn't called. I feel warmer. Ninety-two? I'll never sleep now. Now, here, you listen to me. It's high time you did something about this. My my husband and, and, and my mother haven't slept a wink all night, and they'll... They'll both be fidgety all tomorrow. Well, how much longer are you going to let this condition keep up? <laughs> I, I insist you do something about it immediately. Goodbye. <laughs> there. <laughs> that, that, that was swell, Mrs. Norton. That was, that was a great help. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much, Claudia. Really? Well, there's certainly nothing like talking to the right people and, and telling them to get on the ball. Oh, yeah, she's right. She's absolutely right, Mama. Always go to the top man, the man David. who's in charge. <laughs> Why didn't we think of calling the Weather Bureau sooner? I have no idea. Claudia, such nonsense. Nonsense, eh? What was that? Well, I'll be... Uh... Nothing to it? Nothing at all. Hmm. <laughs> it just goes to show you. Private complaining is useless. It's really useless. It's action and talking to the right people that really counts. Listen, isn't that beautiful? We'll never live it down, David. Mother, it is raining in. Quickly, close the windows. Would somebody mind giving me another blanket, please? I'm chilly and I really feel as if I deserve a little service. If you live in a house these summer days, you probably take your guests out onto the porch or into the garden for a cool, refreshing drink. If your house has no terrace or porch, or if you live in an apartment, you can at least provide refreshment that will help guests feel cooler. Delicious, ice-cold Coca-Cola. There's probably no time when the pause that refreshes is more welcome. I think it was voodoo, Mr. King. Voodoo, uh, magic, whatever Claudia uses, I'm a lot cooler right so now. So am I. I'll sleep now. Nothing like a summer storm, is there? Especially tonight. Well, next time I start feeling the heat, I'll call Claudia. She'll fix it up for me. I hope you'll catch her in a helpful mood. You mean she isn't always? Claudia? I should say she isn't always. She and David can be more unhelpful when they feel pixie than any other two people I know. <laughs> that I'd like to see. Come around for dinner on Monday, Mr. King, and you'll see. Well, I'll be there. So long, Mrs. Brown. Goodbye, Mr. King. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again Monday at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. These programs star Catherine Bard as Claudia and Paul Crabtree as David. The entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs>